Welcome back guys, it's Dr. Mike and I'm a physical therapist providing tips on how to build strength and longevity with your body. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can properly use a stationary bike like this one here to help improve the outcomes with your knee. So if you're looking to improving your swelling, improving the strength, and most importantly, improving the flexibility in your knee, then this is a great piece of equipment that you can use at home or at the gym to help improve your recovery with the knee replacement. Now for one, why would someone wanna use a piece of equipment like this? Well, we know that after a knee replacement, restoring your knee range of motion is extremely important, especially for the first six to eight weeks. We really wanna focus on getting back full knee extension as well as full flexion. And this is why a bike like this can be really helpful because now we are passively taking your knee through full range of motion and getting your knee to bend with assistance of the pedaler. Now most people will be kind of afraid jumping on a bike like this, but I'm gonna show you how you can safely and properly use this as a warm up and a great tool to be used in a piece of your recovery with this knee replacement. Now, for one, when would you start to use equipment like this? Well, I would say some of my patients begin to use it anywhere between three to even six weeks uh, post-recovery after knee replacement, and they tend to have better outcomes the more that they can get comfortable with spending more time on this. Usually you would warm up uh, on the bike for anywhere between three to five minutes, and then as you get more comfortable with moving your foot in greater range of motion and starting to get more motion in the knee, you're gonna be able to spend more time on the bike and it will feel a lot more comfortable. Now let's talk about the setup and how to use this properly. For one, if you're getting on a bike where the surface is so low, that is gonna require your knee to flex even further and it's not gonna feel comfortable. So if you're really trying to set yourself up for success, you really wanna make sure that whatever stationary bike you get on, that you really lift that seat up high enough so that your hips are above your knees, okay? Now, as you get on a bike like this, we're really not trying to force and push too hard where you're having a lot of pain. What I typically recommend for my patients is to go through these half revolutions. So that means you're starting to pedal going forward and then you're gonna start to go backwards. So you're almost working through this 180 degree motion back and forth and you're using assistance from the pedaler as well as assistance from your other leg to help get you moving in that forward and backward direction. You'll notice that after a few more minutes, you're gonna be able to eventually start to work that knee through further range of motion until you get to a point to where you can start going in full revolutions all the way in a full circle and you'll notice that it tends to feel a lot better on the knee. The, the joint will be nice and warm and you'll start to pedal a little bit faster with these revolutions. Now, as you start to improve with this particular exercise, over time, you are gonna want to drop the seat even further. Why? Because that's gonna require your knee to flex even further. As a result, you're gonna get more of a stretch on the quadriceps and you're gonna be able to really work on strengthening those quads because you're now pushing through the pedal and you're working that knee through full range of motion. And this can be a vital part of your recovery and can be an easy piece of equipment that you can add on a couple times a week to help moving in the right direction with your range of motion and your strength. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you'd like some more guidance and information on how to recover after a knee replacement, take a look at the videos I made in this playlist here. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one.